Hey guys, another day, another reselling Q&A. It's been another minute. Guys, if you miss me, you should go check me out on Whatnot because that's where I have been. I'm doing multiple shows a week. We got some questions. We got some questions. Here we go. We're just gonna act like I haven't been missing on here. Okay, I am getting so many questions from you guys asking how long it takes to get approved on Whatnot. I honestly have no idea. I can tell you guys my experience, what happened to me. I have no idea how long the approval process is at the moment. So basically, I applied to Whatnot I don't even remember, but it had been like a couple of weeks. I hadn't heard anything. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? I saw like all these people um, that were getting accepted. I'm like, what's going on? Like, why is this taking so long? So I reapplied and then I heard back two days later, they were like, you're accepted. Here's when you can do your onboarding. And they gave me like a couple of different dates to do my onboarding. It was the following week. So I did my onboarding the following week. It was probably like four or five days later. And then two days after that, I was able to sell. So yeah, I had applied. I didn't hear anything. I got impatient. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? So I reapplied and then it was literally two days after that. I don't know how it is right now. I don't know what the time frame is. I have heard that if you use someone's seller referral link, then you get approved quicker. I don't know if there's any truth to that. I do have a seller referral link, but full disclosure, if you guys use my link, I do get a commission. You guys also do get a monetary credit as well. Um, so yeah, so full disclosure. So I will have my link down below if you guys do want to use it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I know. All I know is how long it took me. I have no idea what the current time frame is. Next question. Can you make a video about your personal style slash relationship with fashion? I always wonder what the big resellers like to wear themselves and think it'd be super interesting. So I can, I can just answer that question for you. I don't need to make a full video about it. My style is comfortable. Like I like to be comfortable. I have five kids. We have a brand new puppy now. Life's crazy. I'm moving around a lot. I want to be comfortable. I don't want to be in something that's like super cute. Well, I mean, I do want to be in something that's like super cute, but I don't want to be in something that's like super cute and not comfortable, you know, just to look super cute. Like, no, no, I'll look like I just rolled out of bed <laughs> to be comfortable. I do like fashion. I do appreciate fashion. I do, you know, like to dress up when there is an occasion for it. But majority of the time, like right now, I'm in a t-shirt, like a Marine Corps t-shirt, and I'm wearing my favorite Lululemon um, shorts. That's like literally what I'm in most of the time is like a t-shirt and shorts, or if it's the winter time, like leggings and sweats and a t-shirt. Like I just like to be comfortable. Again, I will dress cute and I will wear, you know, the shoes that hurt if it's a special occasion, but definitely not on the daily. Like I just have way too much going on to worry about shit. Like I don't even wear makeup on the daily because I just, I don't, I've got too much going on. Like if I know I'm going to film a YouTube video, I'll put on a face for you guys. Yeah, for the most part, I'm just super casual, comfortable all the time. Um, and again, I do appreciate fashion. I do, you know, know what the trends are. I just don't dress the part. Okay, this question says, Vanessa, what about Poshmark? It looks like you've given up on it. Um, okay, so I don't know like why, why you're saying that because I like haven't been making videos about it. I haven't given up on Poshmark. I just haven't put um, a lot of effort into it or as much effort as I was putting into it because of whatnot. Um, whatnot is... It's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of fun. A lot goes into doing a live show. You know, there's prepping for it and then there's actually going live and then they're shipping everything after. So, um, yeah, it's a lot of work. And like I said, I haven't putting as much effort into Poshmark or eBay or Mercari as I have been, um, because whatnot has been taking up most of my time, but I am still on those platforms. I haven't given up completely on them. It would be foolish of me to just jump ship on every other platform and focus 100% on whatnot because, who knows how long whatnot will be around. I mean, yeah, it's popular right now. Everyone's doing it right now, but who knows how long that's going to happen. There should always be diversification in your income streams. I'm just a true believer of that um, because you don't know what's going to happen, basically. Um, so yeah, I haven't given up completely on it. I just am not putting as much effort into it as I used to. Last question. <laughs> I've gotten a bunch of these questions and comments in my Instagram DMs. It was actually funny. <laughs> I posted a story on Instagram. This was like a couple of days ago. Um, you can see who like goes into your live show before it actually goes live. It'll be like, oh, you know, so-and-so joined and someone in particular joined one of mine before it went live. So I thought that was kind of funny. Nicole State, I'll say her name. I'm not scared. So yeah, I thought that was kind of funny. I don't know why she'd be going into my show. I really have no idea, but I screenshotted it and posted it on Instagram and a lot of you guys thought it was hilarious. Um, but this person asks, what do you think about scamming resellers doing well on whatnot? I assume you're talking about Nicole State. Um, there actually are a couple others on there as well. Um, I mean, it's, I don't know. I feel like I can make a whole video about it. 
it's a new platform. Like, yes, she does have followers from, like, other platforms that are on there, too. But there's a lot of new people on there that don't know her past. So she's 1 million percent taking advantage of that. That's definitely one of the reasons why she's doing so well on there. And I don't know. It's just baffling to me the amount of resellers that support her that know about her past. I know people are like, oh, you know, forgive and forget or people make mistakes. It's like, okay, yeah, maybe like once or twice, but a like repetitive fucking serial scammer, you're still going to support that shit. Like she just recently scammed people like what, maybe a year ago now. It's about time it happens again. Like it's a cycle. It's not just going to all of a sudden stop. Like I don't know. It's just, it really makes me think twice about these people that are like upper ass. Because some of these people I support and I'm like, okay, if you're going to support someone who is just a bad person and like literally frauds and fucking scams people, like how does, what does that make you? Like what, you're no better than that if you're supporting that, you know? And some of the people I'm actually shocked at. I'm like, wow, I thought you knew better. Like I thought you had morals and, you know, didn't support people that are racist, but you know, apparently you do. I don't, it's just, it baffles me. It honestly does. Like, I don't know if these people see her as like a threat. So they're like, oh, I gotta get on her good side. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's very confusing to me. It really is. I feel like the majority of these people want to just forgive her and forget. And again, like I can do that. If someone fucks up, obviously I can forgive and forget, you know, okay, yeah, you make mistakes. But if you do it repeatedly, literally year after year with no remorse, like, oh, you make an apology video and then fucking six months later you're scamming again. Like, no, you haven't learned your lesson. You're the, still the same shit person. Like right now is her like, oh, I'm good. I'm such a good person phase. But it's literally only a matter of time before she scams again. It baffles me. I don't understand it. Um, but whatever, you can support who you want to support. I'm just going to do the same thing. Like, if you're supporting a known fraud and a scammer and a racist, I'm not going to support you any longer. It's a long-winded answer. Like I said, I could make a whole separate video about that, um, but I won't. And again, I, I, I hate that I have to say this, but there still are some twisted people that will take, like, what I just said and be like, Vanessa, you're a bully. Like, you're bullying Nicole. And it's like, I'm not at all in any sense of the term no i'm not when i talk shit about her it's absolutely justified because of the shitty things she did i'm not just saying like personal attacks on her like oh her hair is shit or i don't like the way she dresses like no that would be bullying that's me just stating facts it's not me being a bully or it's not me being a shit talker it's literally me telling you guys hey watch out. Okay, I'm going to go now. I hope I answered your questions. If you have any other questions, you can comment down below or you can send me a dem, dem, a dem, a dem, a DM on Instagram. If you are new to Poshmark and you want to sign up, you can use my code. It is keeping it rad. You get a $10 credit and I also get a $10 credit. So thank you. Also make sure to check out my whatnot shows. I will have links down below. I have a bunch coming up this week. I have really exciting ones. I have a vintage show. I'm doing shoes and sneakers. I'm doing a mostly Lululemon show. It's going to be so much fun. Links will be below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.